Hey everybody and welcome to the Pedal Zone and welcome to another episode of Tonal Teamwork where we're going to be looking into stacking Octaverse and Pitch Shifters today. Yes, you heard correctly, Octaverse and Pitch Shifters. Let's do this! So the idea for this slightly unconventional uh, pedal stacking order uh, came to me a couple of years back when I was actually I had an octaver and I had a pitch shifter and I was thinking to myself, does it really make sense to have both on my board? Like, shouldn't I just get rid of one of them? And like, yeah, I get I get weird thoughts when I'm sober. So to distract myself, I went on social media and. Uh, I think I went on Instagram and I saw that my good friend Zane Carney, if you don't know him, he's an incredible guitarist. He's played with uh, John Mayer and a bunch of other people. Um, Johnny Lang, for instance. Um, and he was posting a live video and I just instantly jumped in there and I saw him messing with his pedal board. And he has a massive pedal board and he's just a genius when it comes to using pitch shifters for instance and one of his favorite pedals is the the pitch fork that you see down here on the pedal board and out of the blue he just began talking about how he likes to stack pitch shifters and I was like whoa this is gonna be some next level wizardry I'm sure of it and then he showed how he had set his uh, his pitch fork to uh, a specific interval and then he ran it into his uh, he was using an electroharmonics uh, Hawk or a hawk or something like that and it just created the most magical and huge synth sound I've ever heard and he was using it for these completely electric lead lines um, so I just instantly thought okay there's my reason for keeping both pedals I need to give this a go right now so I thought to myself why not share St. Carney's unique pedal hack with the people uh, so you can create some magnificent music with it as well so if we look down on the pedal board here today, we have uh, an electroharmonics uh, pitch fork, which is a pitch shifter with some uh, fixed intervals. And next to it, we have the Earthquake Devices uh, uh, Organizer, which is a really nice and simple octave with some hidden tricks up its sleeve, like the choir mode that regenerates the octave, so you can actually get two octaves above and two octaves below. But we're going to be using it as a fairly simple octave today. And next to that, we have my favorite pedal of all time, the Dispatch Master. You know, not a bad sound in it. And at the end of the chain, we have the, the new Earthquake Devices Pyramids, which is going to be adding some, uh, some flanging to, the, to this sonic equation and make things even more spacey and synthy. But if we just start out by hearing my dry signal, and then we'll add in the pitchfork. So I have the pitchfork set to a perfect fifth above. It's just a very, like, it's a very accommodating interval. Um, it just sounds great with, with most shapes that you play. There's not many annoying note clusters going on. So it sounds a bit like this. Super clean, super simple, just a fifth above, nothing below. Um, but if we then add in the organizer, it suddenly sounds like this. How flipping huge is that? Just an epically grand synth sound and you can just hear if we just hear the organizer on its own super simple octaver just uh just adds in some nice lower octaves and a nice shimmering high octave so it's simply the combined force of the two that just creates something extraordinary to my ears And 
if we just hear the pitchfork again on its own. It's incredible. I could play that all freaking day and I hope you want to do that as well. Uh, but of course, as with any other synth sound, we, we just need a touch of ambience to like take things to the astral plane. So let's just add in the lush ambient magic of the Dispatch Master and hear how things sound now. It got even better, right? Heck yeah, it did. And now finally we add in the Earthquaker Devices Pyramids. Just add another alien spacey layer to it all. And it sounds a bit like this. I can't get enough of that sound. Wow, that is just too much fun, people. Um, so yeah, I I seriously hope that you picked something up from this cool little pedal pedal order trick, and that you want to give it a go at home. I would seriously love to hear what you guys do with this trick. So if you have the pedals to do something similar, then please do it, and please send me the sound bites via via Facebook or Instagram or something. I need to hear what you come up with with this. And yeah, let's just finish it all off by hearing this magnificent sound in a more musical context. <laughs> That's it for me today, lovely pedal people. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. I can't express how much that means to me. And hey, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, but just stumbled upon me and my channel via this video, then please hit that subscribe button and it would just be the best thing in the world. Thank you. I'm Stefan and I'm signing out. <laughs>